thing has finally come to an end. Now I can kick your ass. Didn't I destroy that right armor? Yeah, but I got it upgraded. Bro. You and your fucking right armors. Prepare to die at the hands of the world's most advanced riding armor. The new Goliath! <laughs> so does that make me David then? Because I'm about to wreck your fucking Goliath. Let's do it! Gaming, and it's finally time to take the fight to Dr. Doppler. Well, let's play Mega Man X3 Zero Project. Well, guys, we're almost near the end of the game. Took out the rest of the Maverick bosses last time. My sub tanks are all filled up. Don't forget, you can go back to Toxic Seahorse's level to refill up on energy for your sub tanks with the um, frost, um, frost shield, was it? Was it frost shield or, or shotgun? You know what? I was literally about to fucking say shotgun ice. No, no. But yeah, that's the best weapon to use to um, get energy for your um, sub tank because those two giant green enemies at the start of the game, or rather at the start of the stage. So yeah, once you fill, um, use up all of your um, frost shield energy, um, leave the stage and come back and it's recharged up. So there you go. That being said though, it is finally time to hit the Dr. Doppler's lab. Let's do this. Ah, oh, I missed this theme. Of course, the, the, the PlayStation version sounds a little bit better, in my opinion. But, you know, it, it's still retro and classic. So, it, it, you know, it, it, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. That being said, though. All right. So unfortunately, we have trash and a lot of it. Whoa, uh! Yeah, viewers, watch me. I was prepared for this. Watch out for these walls here because they will close in on your ass. Literally. <laughs> the spinning blades is the best here because when you're trying to get through these fucking crevices and shit, the spinning blade can get through those little um, small sections. This will make getting through here a lot easier. Somewhat, anyway. Uh, careful. already. I'm fucking damage prone. Ugh. But it makes my Mega Man LP just that much more fun to do. <laughs> the random antics, the random fucking fails, the random death. You know, shit like that. It just makes playing the game so much more fun. Ow! Bitch! You see, they put this bastard here on purpose to make you fall or jump up on the spikes. They do that shit on purpose, I swear they do. That being said though, yeah, remember these walls? Yeah, from X2? Yeah, if you're not, if you're not fast enough, your ass will get crushed. So, here you go. <laughs> oh yeah, those walls were a lot more annoying in the second game. Third game, not so much. It's manageable. So, here you go. MOVE! These red things get on my nerves! Ugh. Excuse me, ma'am. Ow. Cool. All right, quick. All right, that being said. Ugh. What the hell? The fuck is that? Weird ass robot. Hey, X. Zero, I'm here to help. I could take care of it by myself, but no. I'm the actual hero here. Let me do something. I can't tell if he's serious, and that's very concerning. Uh, all right, X. I'll stop the ceiling from collapsing. You take care of that Maverick. Bruh. I thought you said you were going to help me. Why don't you take care of the Maverick while I stop the wall? No, but then we'll be reversing the concepts. Of okay, stop. We already know how this is happening. <sighs> Whatever. I'll stop the fucking robot. Because X is too lazy to do it himself. fucking self. Whatever. In the case. Yoink. Fortunately, up. Uh, wait a minute. How the fuck did I get? What the fuck happened to my energy? My energy on my spinning blades refilled up. Zero, there's an army of powerful 
Mavericks in Dr. Doppler's lab. They've been upgraded by Dr. Doppler into war machines. Be careful. Right. Thanks, bro. I'll be on my guard. Thanks, X. I'll scout out the surrounding area. Contact me if you need me. Gotcha. Out of here. Viewers, look at my Spinning Blades Vitality Bar. It's like in... It's like it, it's in half. <laughs> you know what? I have a theory as to why that might be. The thing is, normally... That might be some kind of bug or a glitch, because normally, in the original X3, X would be the one obviously going through that. Zero would pop in the city, stop the ceiling, while X destroys the robot. So, you know, there you go. But yeah, I guess they didn't... I guess this is a glitch or something. Well, my other weapons don't seem infinite. <laughs> so, I'll take it! <laughs> I mean, fuck. Infinite spinning blades? Yes, ma'am. Move! Ah, bitches! In any case, viewers, do you remember back in the original X3 with X's golden armor? Well, you can still get it in the Zero Project with X. The thing is, you can also get the black armor upgrade for um for Zero. Yeah, I was about to say for X. No, no. Now. I think they changed it to the point that you don't have to have full health to go down and get the armor. I think anyway. I'm not 100% sure. But the only way to know for sure is to fucking check and see. So let's go and do that, shall we? Yoink! Excuse me, coming through, bitch! Move! Ugh! Fucking mavericks. Pesky bitches. Alright, now this is the drop down area where you want to go to. Yoink! Look at that. Secret passage. Nani? Wait, what? So I do have to have full health? That's some old bullshit. Oh, that's some bullshit. Wow. Okay, so you need full health then. Cool. At least now we know. And knowing is only half the fucking battle. I'll get full health. I'll be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. Now, apparently, I thought that you needed to, you know, that you could just get it without the X3 condition, but apparently you still need the X3 condition. No shit. Wow. Basically, what you got to do to have this capsule spawn here is you need to have all heart tanks, all sub tanks, all armor capsules, all Mavericks defeated, all boss weapons, blah, blah, blah. Once you get to this spot here, you need to have full health. So apparently, you can't cheat the system by using one of your sub tanks to refill your energy. You need to have full energy and not use your sub tank. Once you have that requirement enabled, then you can come down here and activate the capsule. That is bullshit. I wish they would have done away with that BS. But, although... Zero, although I was unable to create an armor program for you, I am able to enhance your abilities. How? X will also gain substantial benefits as I believe he is strong enough to use this program. What's the program, Dr. Lights Ghost? Zero, with these enhancements, your speed, strength, and defense should be increased. What? Again, I must thank you for watching over X. This is the least I could do for you. Oh, don't sweat it. He's my bro. It's the least I can do for him. So, enter this capsule, Zero, to enhance your abilities. Thank you, Dr. Lights Ghost. I will accept this upgrade with all haste. Now, the red to black transformation! And we get Black Armor Zero! Nice! Yes, it's speed, strength, abilities! It's beautiful! Ah! You notice Zero Saber is now purple now, to match up with how his color palette was back in um, X4 through 6. He also has access to the Hyper Crush. Or rather, I guess he doesn't? <laughs> no, no, but apparently Zero doesn't have access to that. That's, a that's actually for X. 
Now, once you manage to get the black armor for Zero, X will also get his golden armor. Zero, I'm coming. <laughs> but yeah, you notice how golden X is now? Yeah, golden armor X, bet your Yoink! But yeah, X has access to the Hyper Crush, which basically allows Golden Armor X to fire his Buster Shots without charge time. It does use up energy, but you need to refill it by taking damage, I think. So it's kind of like the Giga Crush in the second game. So, you know, there you go. Back to you, Zero. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. Bruh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, so now that Zero and X got their ultimate armors, essentially, Let's continue on with the stage, shall we? <laughs> so yeah, whoa, whoa! Bitch! But yeah, just remember, you need to fulfill the uh, original X3 requirements in order to get the golden, or yeah, both the golden and the black armor for zero. You cannot use your sub tanks. So just remember that. Don't do what I did and think that you can cheat the game by using the sub tank to refill up your energy before you get to the capsule. No. The game will see that, and it'll tell you to fuck off. Yeah, fuck off and try and restart the stage over again, which is what I had to do. Ugh, whatever. But in any case, it's all good, though, because we're all set to go. Who the fuck are we facing here? You can't be facing the doctor so soon. Let's find out, shall we? Ugh. Knock, knock! Huh? Oh! Bit and bite! Huh, so we meet again. Ah, you finally arrived, Zero. Well, well, if it isn't the so-called Nightmare Police, as they're called in the um X3 plot. So, there you go. They're Doppler's Nightmare Police. Mm. What's so nightmarish about them? Dr. Doppler upgraded us after our previous encounter with you hunters. Oh, you look the same to me. Shut up. Die at the hands of our combined power! Just how powerful could you possibly be? Behold, Fusion Ha! What the fuck? Yes, combined power! It's time for a boss fight! Whoa! My fist, bitch! Ah! You bastard! Ah! Get the fuck off me! Ah! Son of a whore! Huh. You're strong! Uh, I'll give you uh, that! However, uh, don't you fucking underestimate me! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Oh shit! Subtake! Save my life! <laughs> feel our power now, Zero! <laughs> yeah, I feel it, bros! I really do! You got stronger! Unfortunately, it's not strong enough! NANI?! NANI?! <laughs> All those upgrades, and what did it get you? Death! No! And they died. Concept, but at the same time, what did it really matter? They still got defeated easily. But they almost killed you. Shut up. That being said, though, let's take on the second Doppler stage before we end the episode. Let's do it! Dr. Doppler stage two. What 
the fuck is with this stage? Viewers, look at the aesthetic! Half the stage is destroyed! Huh. It's not like a fucking tornado came through this bitch. This reminds me of the first X Hunter stage in the, in the second game. Interesting. The concept looks the same! Unfortunately, we still got these bitches. Move the fuck out of my way, you giant red chickens! Or giant red rooster bots? Where the fuck you are? You're in my way, so you must die. Move! There you go. I'm sorry, viewers, but these red bastards, they get on my nerves. They are the trolls of X3. Yes, get their big spiky balls out of the way! Ah, sorry if those balls are not ones I'm sucking. So you can fuck off. <laughs> Don't wanna suck those balls! Hey yo, what the fuck? That being said though, yeah, trust me, you will literally hurt your mouth. Those are not balls you want to uh, stop, stop. Let's change the subject. That being said though, there is a water section here. What's what ride armor did I use last time? Was it the kangaroo or was it the frog? I don't even remember. I think it was the kangaroo right armor. Or was it the frog? Why the fuck can't I remember? Oh well. This is the kangaroo right armor. Yes! Okay, okay, this is the one with the, the spike arms. Yeah, that one won't work underwater. Okay, I know the end is the chimera. So let's try H then. Yoink! All right, I don't remember if this is the one I can use underwater. Let's check. Let's test it out and see. <laughs> uh, what the fuck happened to the water? The water's gone. Yeah, before you come to the stage, there's a water section right here. It's uh not here, apparently. Move, bitch. Ah. Wow, that is bizarre. Oh yeah, viewers, one other thing with this particular ride armor. Now, it's just like the ride armor in Mega Man X2 in a way. Now, when you um air dash, or rather no, when you dash jump, uh, jump again, and you can jump a little higher. See? Pretty cool, huh? There you go. Fortunately, that's as far as we can get with it. <laughs> Oh well, it was fun while it lasted for like the brief second we had it. We're at the boss already? What the fuck is this? Okay, so this is just an empty room? Weird. Ah, oh, you know what? It just hit me. Viewers, now in the original Mega Man X3, if you played the X3 or original one, you will remember when X comes through this room. Now, assuming you did not get those, um, assuming Zero did not die during any of your playthroughs and stuff, whenever, when X comes into this room, oops, sorry, I hit the wrong button. When X comes into this room, um, Zero, or rather no, X has to, um, how exactly did that go? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, X, I think X fights the boss. And then the boss is about to explode. Zero pops in and takes the explosion for X or something or rather like that. I don't quite remember how it went down. But when the boss, or rather when the mini boss explodes, Zero will take a lot of damage. Now, when Zero took damage, he would give X his saber. And Zero, um, X could use Zero's powerful fucking C-saber as part of his, um you know, his, um, other charge. Uh, where's the button at? There you go. X, come on! Need you, buddy. I'm coming. There you go. But, yeah. Now, when Zero, when X gets the Z-Buster, up or Z-Saber upgrade, um, after this initial purple or red or whatever color would be, he will get the green color. So, after the Buster shot, he'll, uh, be able to use a Saber attack. Now, Zero, need you, buddy. I'm coming. There you go. Now then, 
Let's continue on. But yeah, I think the conditions for this have to be. Now, if memory serves. Now remember, Vile has to be destroyed. When yeah, if you fight if you fight Vile in one of those secret area stages, that secret stage, yeah, if you happen to kill Vile with his um weapon weakness, which is the spinning blades, by the way, you know, these sexy buff um puppies. Yeah. Um, if you use those and kill him with that, um, Vile will be completely destroyed, meaning he won't be able to come back. <coughs> but, you know, there you go. So just keep that in mind. But when you happen to do that, you trigger something with this stage, the second Doppler Doppler um, stage. Basically, what you do as a result of killing Vile permanently, you alter how the stage will look. So basically, if you happen to defeat Vile with his weapon weakness, the stage won't look like this. The stage will actually look like, well, the stage has not been destroyed. The glass is still intact. There's an underwater section that you can go through, which is what I was alluding to earlier. And so on and so forth. And you face another boss here. However, because I did not destroy Vile with his weapon weakness earlier, when I fought him back in um, Volt Catfish's stage in the last episode. Um, yeah, the stage looks like this. It looks fucked up, pretty much. You ever these little purple caliper um, bastards? Yeah, these guys. They go slow as a fucking caterpie. So basically, you gotta stand on these things. Fortunately, you got these bastards from Blizzard Buffalo stage coming down to say hi. However, <sighs> Um, once you see the other, um, caterpillar thing on the other side, use a long-range attack and destroy the shell. But be very careful how you jump over here. You notice how I dash jumped? I was scared to even do that, because you know how fucking damage prone I am. I can fucking fall, uh, jump right into the spikes. But it wouldn't be my fault, though. Boy, you sure are crazy. That's an issue. Whoa! Oh! That's an issue. Yeah. Is this fucking bastard's fault? Popping the fuck in here like that. In any case, let's do this. Zanaya the Thunder! Try a Thunder X as a shield, too, in a way. That's pretty cool. Alright, oh, wait, 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 wait. Alright, need my buster. Alright, there you go. What the hell? Oh, oh that was close! Yeah, watch yourself, bro. Woo! Man, this is the this is the real stage. This stage is the only. The, okay, I'm I'm fuck. I'm slurring my words here. This is one of the most fucked up stages in X3. Not just with how the stage looks, whether you defeat Vile or not, but how you get up that section with those caterpillars on snail things. <sighs> you need to have some really good patience and jumping skills. Because I can't tell you how many times I've died to that fucking section right there. Before getting to the boss itself. Speaking of the boss, who the fuck are we facing here? Ugh. Uh, the stage is empty! Uh, wait, what? What? Zero, my waiting has finally come to an end. Now I can kick your ass. Didn't I destroy that right armor? Yeah, but I got it upgraded. Bro. You and your fucking right armors. Prepare to die at the hands of the world's most advanced riding armor. The new Goliath! <laughs> so does that make me David then? Because I'm about to wreck your fucking Goliath. Brilliant! Brilliant! Let's do it! It's just time for a boss fight! Versus Vile, round two! But, uh oh! But yeah, with this second fight against Vile, he has a, he has a new upgraded riot armor. Unfortunately, this one is a lot more annoying to deal with. But luckily, this time, I don't have to hold back on him like I did the first time. What the fuck are those? Well, I don't want to fucking find out. 
and I'm out of Rage Blaster energy. Very sexy. Very good. Come on, bitch. Come at me, bro. Actually, don't come at me just yet. I need to charge my weapons. <laughs> run, run, you little bitch! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! You're strong, vile. I'll give you that much. <laughs> I'm more than strong. <laughs> Is that all you got with your fucking big ass ride armor? You can't even fucking hit me that much. It feels like I'm facing Blizzard Buffalo. <laughs> you dare compare me to that bastard? Ugh. Apparently so! Damn it! You suck, you jackass! Ugh. So, you're without your ride armor now! What will you do? I'm gonna kick your ass, is what I'm gonna do! Stop the cow! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine! In the case, round three! Now... I think he's still weak to the spinning blades. But you know what? I don't need the spinning blades to kick his ass. I'm gonna do this how Zero should've did back in the first game. I mean, back then in the first game, Zero didn't have his saber. Oh, oh! <laughs> Burn, bitch! You first, bro. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you see, battles like this just make me love X3 even more. Is that all you got, Vile? With all those fucking upgrades that Doppler got you? <laughs> Watch and learn, bitch! The real Ace Hunter is fucking kicking your ass. Yeah, a hunter that you used to be, by the way. Uh, what happened? What made you go rogue and join Sigma's cause? That's none of your business. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, are you still bitter that I destroyed your first game ride armor? And X fucking destroys your ass? Here. And oh yeah! Um, I didn't forget that you killed me in the first game. Die! What was that? Fuck, I ruined the moment. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Ugh. This time I'm gonna kick your ass! You're a bitch. <sighs> Don't think you've won, Zero. I will haunt you to the day you die. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. With little money. <laughs> Bye, Felicia! Damn. With famous last words. Such a damn shame, Vile. Such a damn shame. Well, that's all she wrote! <laughs> Let's get out of this bitch! Whew! That was a fun boss fight! I enjoyed myself. A little too much. But, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. We got X and Zero's ultimate armors for X3. And we also managed to defeat the Nightmare Police, in quotes. And we finally took down Vile, and we'll never see him again. <coughs> Ooh, sorry viewers, uh, excuse me. <coughs> oh shit, I got stuck in my throat. That being said though, viewers, whew, took down two of the four Doppler stages. We got two more to go. But I wonder what awaits us when we face off against the good doctor himself. Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving visit from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so notified of my newest uploads. You got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. Michael Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. See you later.